Okay, guys, in the previous lesson, we saw horizontal concatenation, and here we want to see vertical concatenation. Uh, you guys remember how we used to create um, uh, column vectors, right? We'll say V, for example, is equal to uh, 1, 2, 3, and 4, right? So this will create a column vector. So what information does this give us? It tells us that if we want to create put a number under another number, right, we use the semicolon. So one uh, semicolon two tells us that we want to put one, then under one, two, okay? So this arranges numbers vertically. Well, it is the same logic and the same concept that we will use to do vertical concatenation, okay, or vertical combination of existing matrices to form larger matrices. Good, so if we have A, and b as we had in the previous tutorial and we want to form a new matrix that has a okay as the first part and then b immediately under a as the second part then we'll just say a is equal to sorry we'll open the bracket and uh, we'll say a semicolon b right so what will you notice here? here we are using little a we are using capital a and you can see it even here a and uh, capital A, right? So for the same variable name, okay, having different uh, case sensitivities with some letters being uppercase and others maybe being lowercase, the, the variable names will be different because MATLAB is case sensitive. A way of saying if I say small a is equal to 2, it's not the same as saying capital A is equal to 2. Capital A in MATLAB is different from uh, lowercase a. Okay, or should I say capital A is, is uh, uppercase A is different from lower case A. Okay, so MATLAB is case sensitivity. Capital A is not the same as small a. Good. So pressing enter here, you see that this is my A on top and this is my, my B under. So what does this tell us? It tells us that if we want to do a vertical organization of uh, two of of uh, matrices right all the matrices that we are concatenating vertically have to have the same number of the same number of columns so for example if i create another matrix c and say randy of uh, 10 then let's give it the same number of rows but then different number of different number of columns right if i concatenate and say a is equals to um, a is to C. You see that there is a problem. So error using vertical concatenation. Dimensions of arrays being concatenated are not consistent. Why? Because there is a last row here, a last column here, sorry, that will need to be filled. Right? Good. Uh, so having said that, are you seeing this function right here? Vertical concatenation is just like horizontal concatenation that we saw before. Okay, it's another way of doing vert vertical concatenation of matrices. So to use that, I will just say a is equal to vert cat. Okay, not cart like what we did last time. A comma b. Okay, so vert cat of a comma b will give me a on top and then be under you can place as many uh, matrices here as possible as many as you deem fit so long as they have the same number of columns everything should be fine just like in horizontal cards you can place as many uh, matrices there so long as they have the same rows they will have the same problem so we've seen how to concatenate matrices uh, horizontally we've seen how to concatenate matrices vertically the next thing we want to see is a sort of combination of everything, okay? And then uh, we'll give you guys a last bonus, and this should close matrix concatenation. See you in the next video.